Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about calculating angles. So this is part of geometry wherein ang focus natin ngayon is on how to find the missing angle in a given figure. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here the first two examples for our discussion today in this video. And here is the first figure. So as you can see, we're given here intersecting lines wherein we have four different parts or four different angles formed and here we are asked to find the value of x or the value of x in terms of angles so paano ngayon to? so as you can see um, we have here a straight line that indicates a hundred degree angle and it is divided by this line into two equal parts so whenever you see a straight line and we have here a line that cuts this straight line, you will treat or you will consider these two angles, this angle X and this angle 60 degree angle as supplementary angles. And remember, when you say supplementary angles, these are angles with the sum of 180 degrees. Tama. Ang sum nila is 180 degrees. So to finally calculate this kind of figure or to easily find the value of x, what we need here is to form an equation. That equation will look like this. You have here x representing your first angle plus your second angle which is 60 degrees. And remember that they are supplementary angles, meaning their sum is equal to 180 degrees and now so sir how are we going to calculate for the value of x what we need here is to eliminate 6 degrees so what will happen is that here you need to copy this x plus this one copy 60 degrees and then subtract both sides of the equation by 60 we have here minus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees then another minus 60 degrees and simplifying this part of the equation we know that 6 degrees minus 6 degrees is simply equal to 0 that's why on the left side of the equation what will remain is variable x is equal to 180 degrees minus 6 degrees and that would be 120 degrees. Therefore guys, the value of x here in the first problem is simply 120 degrees. That's how you will solve this kind of problem. Actually, uh, for those who are well versed in terms of um, solve the angles given this intersecting lines. Madali na itong part ito. Okay? Now let's continue with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given these lines. We're in Melton transversal line. Na nagkakat sa dalawang lines natin. So we are asked here to find the value of y. Again, the value of y. Now, so think, of, think about this. As you can see, we have here two different arcs. Uh, two arcs na kung saan Pareha sila. So, they represent the angle. And ang ibig sabihin yan that these two angles are equal. Actually, they are called corresponding angles in this case. Now, so, how are we going to solve for y? So, ang clue natin dito guys ay ito. You will use this clue. Since meron silang parehas na symbol or markings o kaya arcs, ibig sabihin that this angle measures also 100 degrees okay 100 degrees and remember from our previous discussion in item number one we have here a straight line we have here a straight line here the straight line and then we have here another line that cuts this straight line meaning this y angle and this 100 degree angle are also supplementary angles like that one now to solve that same process, we will create an equation. We have to add them 
that y is equal to 100 degree, uh, uh, sorry, y plus 100 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Same solution, okay? Same solution, we need to eliminate positive 100 or 100 degrees simply by subtracting both sides of the equation by 100 degrees. So we have here y plus 100 degrees minus 100 degrees, okay, is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees, okay? Now simplifying this, this will, be case, this will become 0, and this is y, so we have here y is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees, and that would be 80 degrees. So the value of y here, or this angle, measures 80 degrees. Now, in the next part of our video, we will talk about another example on how to calculate angles given this kind of thing. Now let us calculate the missing angle, which is angle K. Now, meron tayong clue that this one is a rectangle. And as you can see, meron tayong itong 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, and 90 degree angle given this symbol. Kapag meron tayong box na nakita, automatic, the measurement of that one is exactly 90 degrees. So, meron tayo dito, when we break down this part, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So, meron tayong gantong klaseng angle in which yung angle natin is a 90 degree angle at meron tayo ditong line. So, it simply means na itong dalawang angles na to, they formed complementary angles. So, again, when you say complementary angles, these are angles that has the sum of 90 degrees. So, kung meron tayong clue that angle K and this is 60 degree angle is an example of complementary angles. Therefore, we can create an equation in which it goes like this. We have K plus 60 degrees is equal to their sum which is 90 degrees. Again, ang sum nila is 90 because they are examples of complementary angles. Now, how are we going to calculate this one? Simply lang naman. We need to eliminate 60 degrees by subtracting both sides by 60. So we have here K plus 60 degrees minus 60 degrees. And for the other side of the equation, we have here is equal to 90. And then we have here minus 60 degrees. And simplifying this part of the equation, this 60 minus 60 is 0. So we have here k. We have here k is equal to 90 minus 60 degrees, and that would be 30 degrees. Now, as you can see, the value of k in this given problem is simply 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So I hope, guys, that you learned something from this video on how to calculate a specific value of an angle given these geometric figures. So, if you have any question about this, you can comment down below and feel free to share this video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!